Yo, what is going on everybody? It is me, DLE Rye. I've got DLE Kamel, who is back from his turkey coma. What is going on, Kamel? How's it going? I am doing all right, Rye. What's up? New box just passed. New, new box. Bandless. That's right. There's new a box, lot. New bandless. New meta, you know? It's, it's, uh, insane, dude. it's an exceed. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. It's listen. It came out in the middle of the week. There's still a chance. Hopefully. I don't know, dude. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, power rankings, overall stings. Kamel, I think there's something cool that we could do because, of course, uh, with a new bandless, new box, and everything like that the meta rapidly changes week to week. And I think it would mm -hmm. be cool if we compare what was in each place from last week to this week as we go through it. Okay, sure, let's do that. So I'm let's down. do that. You can see the top five decks right there, boys. We're gonna get through them right now. Before we get into it, these were all the tournaments that were hosted today. I think they're all the same except the Shadow Realm Weekly, which I think was a $50 and, yeah. reward. I'm and Next sure. Generation World, that is a new name. Yeah, I, I do believe. I think this might be their second time on here. They, they come in from time to time. GG Tour is on here. All those big boys are on here. Let's get mm. into it. Or actually, I think GG Tour was actually the raid special, but still $300 tournament instead of 500 same thing water xc's oh my god first place baby <laughs> yeah man water xc's taking four tournament wins on the weekend two Yikes. runner ups as well yeah two of those tournaments uh or excuse me one of those tournaments it was a mirror match in the finals and water xc's just comes through in these fast metas now their harpies no longer has such a you know consistent road to you know double cyber slash instant victory in their second turn you know now water deck is the best tth abuser <laughs> tth mst and book of moon abusers and they're doing yeah the and i think too a lot of people i mean everyone hates losing to water xc's right it feels bad to lose to water xc's yeah. Um, but what a lot of people don't kind of, I guess, uh, respect out of Water XCs is the, they can play whatever they want, right? If there's a floodgate that's good, they can play. If there's a back row that's good, they can play it. They're not restricted yeah. anyway. They don't have to play things like, uh, you know, Necrofusion to be relevant. Um, that's kind of why they're here. Last week, they were in second place with 20 points, so literally doubled mm -hmm. their points in a week. And Destiny Hero was in first place. Destiny Hero... Isn't Destiny even in the Hero. top five this week. <laughs> Destiny Hero is lacking, you know, just yeah. on to really quickly says not in the top five, you know, the strategy, you know, the code is cracked, you know, yeah. as long as you can make it so that they can't really take advantage of their field spell win condition, you know, they're not really a factor anymore. It's just basically heroes. PDS called them an auto duel deck, and uh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I know. So we'll see. Hope, but we'll see. Again, we'll see if Destiny Hero can reclaim its first place, but as of right now, Water sitting at top, but listen, Harpy's not that far behind with 37 points. Whoa, Harpy Lady, they're yeah. not dead. They're here, 30 cards. And more and more importantly, Harpy is proving like not just 30 cards can do it. This is a 24 card list. Good point. Correct, you yeah. know. So I've seen 20 card lists up in the, the top cuts of tournaments. So, you know, we will have to see what is the most uh, consistent. But the 30 card list is the tried and tested. When you go all in on the discard traps, the hysteric signs, you know, like this is doing here, but you know, you, you put in more traps. But uh, yeah, these these you know short lists with harpies, they're they're still picking up tournament wins. Yeah, and uh, high places still putting in that one. Swallows. Harpies are not dead. No, no they're whatsoever. not not at all. This guy put in the one swallows. I believe this is the list. Uh, no, this is the meta freakly, but the the one that won the raid shadow legends tournament also played the one swallows instead of the TTH and just sack the finals with it which is hilarious that he even opened it to begin with but yeah like you said anywhere from no, definitely yeah 24 sure 30 well. cards that's the way dude that's the way for sure make sure you're adapting your harpy list dude if you that's your only deck there you go um last week harpies were in sixth place so significant wow. upgrade over what they were last week and they uh the only other second place deck was Water XCs, who's now in first place. So really good signs for Harpy Lady. Yeah. Last week that was just the Harpies are dead hopium, you know. Like <laughs> yeah. that's like that's we're all place. gonna stop playing them and then one person wins. Yeah, I really hey. just yeah. There was just no representation for Harpies last week. You it know, wasn't that besides good. Besides this just just their one tournament win. Yeah. Right. Unlike D Hero, which actually had good representation this week, but still didn't right. really do very well to make top cut. Uh coming up, we got Ritual Beast in third. Yeah, dude, place. Ritual Beast. Ritual Beasts are coming up huge in this meta, and that's because all of the top decks, uh, save for Harpies, 
they're all destruction based decks and ritual beast is just like <laughs> contact fusing bro it doesn't matter oh my god yeah it does not matter at all ritual beast has done very very well this week they did yeah. win two tournaments did very well in the raid shadow legends tournament um they weren't even in the power ranking conversation last week but here they are here they are you know and and the meta has also slowed down overall right because if, if you know harpy is still a top deck but they play slower. That's the big difference, right? They're just a little bit slower than they used to be. And Ritual Beast, they're like, all right, dude. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these decks simply just fold to Ritual Beast in the end game. Yeah. Your Ritual Beast will be able to continuously cycle out, you know, their resources. And they're playing like very powerful cards like Lightning Vortex now, which, you know, you know they're going to be able to make yeah. advantage of because they're always going to have stuff in the hand. So it is crazy. And I think, too, we've also seen, you know, Stall Ritual Beast as well do well. It's just a bunch of trap cards and D-Draw. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's definitely different yes, ways to play well. this. So what's more surprising, though, is third place last week was Melodious, which is notorious for being third place. They're, like, always third place. They yep. are not in the top five this week, Ooh. Kamel. They tied with with uh, Destiny Hero for sixth place. They actually got below them because they won one less tournament. Or did worse than one less tournament. Oh, why do you think that is, Rai? There are, There's no Melodious this week. There are a few reasons. I think I, I, Melodious has always been that deck that's like not really good, but they have like two unfair advantages in Bloom Diva and Score. Mm -hmm. And once people kind of realized that and decks like Ritual Beast showed up, people started playing more decks that, you know, can bounce and stuff like that. It wasn't that great for them. And then even decks that don't have a great matchup against, like, Score would just, like, Book of Moon and Overflow, for example, and they're fine. They don't care. <laughs> That's a good point. You know, on the subject of Melodious, on stream uh, the other day, I was talking with chat and people were like, I don't know why people say Melodious has, has to get uh, nerfed, people were saying. And then we looked at power rankings, we were like, wow, you know, Melodious has only won one <laughs> yeah. or two tournaments yeah. each week. They have never won more than two tournaments in a week. Are they really that oppressive? Yes, their strategy seems unfair at times, you know, the Necro Fusion after you've already dealt with a Bloom Diva. But, you know, once you come, you know, prepared for those things... In a tournament setting, yeah, it's, you're, it's you're gonna be good. Dude. They did have a crazy representation and top rate in the GG tour, yeah. but then they also didn't win that tournament for how much they topped. And I think one thing to that's that's because again, these these power rankings they change week to week. But the one thing that's most concerning is Melodious yeah. was the second most played deck at like 80 yes. entries this week. Yes, Melodious. And Destiny Hero, by that matter, yeah, right behind both it, them. were, both the, of them. <laughs> were the, the second and third most played decks this yeah. week, not getting into the top five. That's I don't rough. know. I, I believe a lot of these other decks that, you know, get slipped on, like Water Z's, man. Believe it or not, even though it is so powerful, people do be sleeping on Water Z's. That's why it's <laughs> they the top do. right now. <laughs> and Ritual Beast, people always sleep on it when we come across a new meta. So that yeah. is up there as well. Yeah. So people got to wake up i think it's going to change you know yeah, for sure in a couple weeks before the the new box but if i if say? i had to guess i would say melodious makes its way back in the top five probably third or fourth i'm not yeah. so sure about d hero that's the one that's like the jury's out you know yeah d hero i think the strategy is just we figured it out boys <laughs> linear yeah that's it we'll see we'll see uh fourth place cyber dragon, cyber dragon. wow and, you know, I want to say, dude, this is, like, best case scenario for a new deck yeah. ever. Hey. Like, a, a new <laughs> deck getting support. This is pretty darn good, dude. The Cyber Dragon has found success this week. Got its tournament win. Mm -hmm. And it's also been seeing con some consistent tops throughout the week. Phoenix getting fourth place in Battle Phase Thursday as well. And uh, it's that yeah, like overflow, it, but, man. That overflow is yeah. nasty. Yeah overflow is it comes in clutch dudes against yeah. so many decks the only thing is a lot of the time cyber dragons finds itself not having you know built in outs to you know certain troublesome boss monsters or yeah. certain situations they have to open book book overflow or they yeah, lose to like half book. the meta <laughs> that being said though half the deck searches itself so yes it is very it, crazy when it draws it works yeah uh, I don't know. I think Cyber Dragon, I like where it's going. Uh, I think it's yeah. going to have a decent follow-up week, but it's jury's still out on it. 
Um, double overflow is the way to go. This is this is definitely more of an XC sure. variant of it. So really happy to see them uh, doing well here. And then by fifth place, by one point, yeah. by one point, Noble it beat Knights, baby. Hero by one point, <laughs> Noble Knights. And that just shows, man, oh, you know, God. the Destiny Hero deck is nothing special, dude, because even that deck, Destiny Hero always folds to something like Noble Knights if they are able no. to perform. And this list, man, it gets the job done. You know, it, it can get going faster than Destiny Hero can yeah. win games. I think, That's just how it is. Yeah, and I think one thing, if you kind of look at across all the actual point differentials, the crazy drop-offs mm. from like, because obviously first, second, and third are like reasonable drop-offs. And then you get to fourth, yeah. and it's like, okay, 14 points. But then you get to fifth, and it's like nine points, dude. That's not even double digits, you know? So I think you can... I think fifth and fourth place are kind of up for grabs every single week. I don't think there's going to be... Like, I don't think Noble Knight will show up every single week, you know? Melodious will show up every... I think the, those decks so, are going to be interchangeable at the end of the day. Magnets. Magnets. Fourth. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Magnets did get two tournament wins last week, though. Yeah. So that put them in the running, and this week, nothing... Just two top eights for them. Yeah. Magnets. I think Magnets are just, they're the D-Draw deck, right? So they're going to have good yes. weeks. They're going to have bad weeks. Just depends on how many people playing a D-Draw. And then fifth place, mm -hmm. I think, was Thunder Dragon, if I'm not mistaken, last week. Uh, yes, it was. And like I said, fifth place is just going to be a revolving door. I don't think there's going to be any, like, single best deck <laughs> that goes into there. Um, new decks. Want to talk about new decks? Have you seen much of the new decks? No, dude, my tournament didn't have any new oh, decks, no, dude. I, I mean, they, they, how are the new decks? How are the new decks? I have no idea, to be honest. What do you mean? Dino you you, you stripped strip like three new deck tournaments. They are, you you don't know how to they are so full of copium. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, dude. Okay, so the first tournament was a wash, whatever. Second tournament, there was a bunch of X1 Abyss actors, and they all lost in round five. None of them topped. And then we got to today's tournament, a bit, which did pretty good, and then they all lost by top 16. It's what, rough, dude. What, what deck topped? Abyss Actors? Abyss Actors and Dino Mist. Oh, oh both of them topped. Yeah, Dino, I mean, Dino Mist is interesting because uh, they have like a cheese play where they, if they can get their perfect board set up, they can attack directly for game, like mm -hmm. over your monsters, and they're unaffected and stuff. But you have to kind of open up Exodia to do that. And Abyss, <laughs> so, yeah. Abyss actors seem like they have, they're just one card away from, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to judge them too hard because every single tournament, they're changing the deck list, they're changing the skills, and it's not like the same thing every time. Right. But it's looking rough right now for them, so it's I don't know. It's looking rough for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I had to guess, I think there's more hope that Abyss actor does something. But it's hilarious watching people get cheesed by Dino Mist. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I hope I will get to see some next week. I believe, dude. Um, anything else? I think I think we covered everything. I think that is it, dude. Yeah. Uh, all these tournaments and more can be found where, Kamel? The DLE Discord. That's Check right. the announcements tab each and every day. Tournament announcements posted after the tournament concludes on. Twitch.tv slash Duelinks Entertainment. If you never stop by a tournament, make sure you do sometime. There you go. And uh, yeah. That's it from us, boys. We'll see you next week. Hopefully the meta is more settled by then. Yeah. I think I think one top top three is probably settled, but I think the bottom half is where the big confusion is. <laughs> There's gonna be some variation. We can, I want to see if Cyber Dragon holds up, dude. Yeah. That is yeah, that's a big question. One of the big questions for me. For sure. Take it easy, boys. Till next time. Peace out.